Hi, this is Chris from Maya Nemo. If you like what I have to say, click the subscribe button below and be notified every time I put up a new video. As you know, I'm a scientific audiophile. I bridge the gap between audiophiles and the heathens that seem to be growing day and night from sites like Audio Science Review and Audioholics. I use science to prove that every part of the sound chain matters. In my last video, I decimated an Audio Science Review forum member, proving unequivocally that cables matter. Today I'm going to do something different though. I'm going to bring together the non-believers with the audiophiles. And by giving both of you a tweak that will reveal better sound that no one can argue with. It is my firm opinion that if the following people watch this video, Michael Fremer, Amir from Audio Science Review, Steve Gutenberg, Gene from Audio Hawks, and if they comment below, they will all say the same thing. I am 100% correct. And none of them can believe they never told you this tweak before. Before I get to the tweak though, I have to give you a little background on how I discovered it. A neighbor of mine was trying to duplicate the amazing sound he heard in my sound room. So he brought over a contractor who measured all the dimensions, grabbed all the same acoustic treatments, he bought all the same equipment, he duplicated my room to the T, including my $15,000 interconnects, my $35,000 speaker cables, and my $12,000 power cord. Everything was identical. He even duplicated my off-grid solar system that fully powers my sound room and the battery backups for a completely silent electrical system. When he was done, his noise floor was identical to mine at only seven decibels. So I brought over my reference SACDs and vinyl and played them and expecting to hear the exact same thing. But something was different. His room sounded better. His system sounded better. How is this possible? But there it was. Vocals were obviously clearer. Bass was tighter. Violins floated just a little bit higher. Everything about his musical sound system was just a little bit better than mine. We were perplexed. He came over to my place and we played the same tracks. And there it was. You could hear his sound in his room was better. We had actually dropped sound quality by coming to my room. We went over the entire room. We looked at everything. Even his cables were the exact same height as mine because he was using the same cable lifters as mine. There was nothing different. The same drywall. Everything was to a T identical. Even the same paint. There was nothing different between our two rooms. We had a perfectly matching system. They should have sounded the same. We were both really perplexed. But I started putting science and logic behind the problem. Then, three days later, we went back to his room. And his sound didn't sound any better than mine. In fact, now our two rooms are identical. What changed? We couldn't figure it out. It wasn't the break-in period. We had broken in all of our equipment long before. This was a perplexing situation. His room now sounded the same as mine. And just a few days ago, it was noticeably better. I spent the next three weeks thinking through all the science background I have, all the math I've ever done, trying to figure out what was different three days ago, what was different a week later, what was different two weeks later. And then it hit me. His contractor had asthma. So I tested my hypothesis, brought him over, and had him listen to my room. As soon as I put on the first track, he said, you got it, but better. And yes, I did get it, and I did it for under a thousand dollars. But how is this possible, he asked me. How can my room now sound better than his, and better than it was even a few weeks earlier? And I told him the same thing I just told you. Your contractor had asthma. And he looked at me as perplexed as you're probably looking at this video right now. What does asthma have to do with sound quality? 
So here's where the science comes in. What is sound? Sound is vibrations that move through the air. The contractor had asthma and he used an air purifier while he was working. When he left, the air was still mostly clean and we could hear that difference in the sound. So of course my friend said to me, how is it possible that my sound sounds better than his did a few weeks ago? And that one is pretty simple and any audiophile figured this out in a few seconds. The contractor was worried about large particles that would get into his lungs. I was worried about the slightest air dust particles that would affect the sound throughout the entire room. So instead of buying some cheap $150 HEPA filter, I ended up picking up a USA ceiling HEPA filter from Amazon for about $650. And this tweak is something that even a mere Gene, Gutenberg, and Fremer can all agree on. Sound moves through the air. And if you don't have the cleanest possible air, you can't have the best possible sound. Every particle of dust is affecting that sound by changing the way the sound moves through the air as a medium until it reaches your ear. So this is my contribution to Unite Audiophiles with the non-believers. There's no arguing the sound difference and there's no arguing the science and logic behind it. So thank you for watching. Make this tweak and come back for the next scientific audio file.